I would now like to ask Iyad Al-Ghamdi to give the valedictory address. Thank you. Good afternoon, President and Vice Chancellor Shepard, Dr. Rosel Toitier, Dr. Toitier, distinguished guests and participants, fellow students, families, and friends. On behalf of the graduating class, I would like to welcome you to the June 2018 commencement ceremony, and I would like to thank you for taking the time to join us today. Mesdames et Messieurs, bienvenue et merci d'être venu. Congratulations, we finally made it. We're here with one foot out the door, excited to start our careers, families, and exploring the world. We graduated in engineering. After years and years of hard work and persistence, late night submissions two minutes before the Moodle deadline hits, pulling all-nighters before capstone presentations in the EV building, and hustling day in and day out, all to get those iron rings and finally call ourselves future engineers. But before we got to this point, how about we take a little trip down memory lane? Let's reflect upon what we've been through and how we've changed. Remember the first day you were at Concordia and how confused you were? You see the hall building and you wonder how you're gonna spend the next four or five years here. You cross the street to the library building. You're excited but also overwhelmed that this is where you will do most of your studies and this is where you're gonna smuggle coffee past the security guard. <laughs> you go to the Burke's office to get your student ID, not knowing that it's at that moment, it's that picture that marked the beginning of your Concordia life. You sat there in front of the blue screen and your student ID is out from that printer. You're excited and officially a Concordia engineering student. You think about the next years, what experiences you're gonna face, you walk around and you, of course, you envy JMSB students for their building and will continue walking to your first class, ENGR 201. That's where you meet your first study buddy and that's where you first hear about these engineering rings and you think how far that's gonna be and how you would be a totally different person by then. For the rest of the years, you start, we start learning more about ourselves. We start knowing more of what we want our careers to be and we start partaking in associations clubs, competitions, and we meet professionals and students from all over the world. Now I want you to do something with me when you get home. I want you to take out your first student ID, and I want you to look at the photos and look at the scratches and the faded words. I'm sure you used to take it out whenever you had an exam to take or whenever you wanted to print something from the Concordia Library. But really, I want you to actually look at the picture of who you were four or five years ago. I can tell you I wasn't so proud of my first picture and I always tried to find an excuse not to show it. But now I look at it and I realize that that person had no experiences. He was a kid. He came directly from his parents' house and his only focus was to get the highest marks possible. But looking at it now, I learned an important lesson. I learned that we are not defined by our GPAs or by tests, certifications, or how many competitions we won but we're defined by our experiences. So think that friend you met who invited you to your first house party, or that professor that influenced you into a career decision, or even that elective that motivated you to change, to change majors in your first year. I personally participated with many associations, and I ended up meeting my fiance through one of them. I count that as my best experience. But as the author, Paolo Coelho says, be brave, take risks, because nothing can substitute experience. Look back at the picture of your ID and think of how much you've grown. Think about the next five years from today and how much you will grow by then. In order to do so, you have to stand up for what's right. You have to make sure that you're not just agreeing with everyone for the sake of agreeing. Make sure that you always make your voice heard because that's how you grow and that's how you learn. In engineering, 
they always teach us. They always teach us that the goal is to only have an enhanced ability to always come up with solutions. So know that whatever challenges you will face in your future, be that a new job, starting your own company, moving to a new country or even moving back to your own country, you have been taught to always be prepared. Concordia has profoundly changed who we are and just as you're excited to leave here today, know this, despite the many challenges you faced and the many, many more to come, being here today is a true testament of your potential to succeed. Thank you to the faculty for assisting us through office hours and guidance. And of course, thank you to the parents for their constant support and motivation. And thank you to all of those in the background for simply making this journey worthwhile. Even though we look back at those first days with the unknown on the horizon, we knew that Concordia would always be with us. And although you are leaving Concordia today, Concordia will always be a part of you. Thank you and congratulations. Felicitations. Thank you, Iyad. I hope that all of you uh, made your own mental trip down memory lane and that the memories were all as, uh, as positive as, as Iyad's. Um, I also like the solutions-oriented, uh, complete preparedness part of the message. Uh, that's, that's, that's great values from our Faculty of Engineering and Computer Science. Was a little surprised about the Moodle and Capstone stories, though. I didn't know engineers did just-in-time delivery, so. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs>